What's going on guys? Today we are checking out the SRAM uh, 1042 tooth 11 speed GX cassette. This guy's used for everything from, uh, in my case, you know, a uh, gravel bike or road bike, one by setup or an 11 speed mountain setup. So it's going on my road bike, but uh, let's check this guy out and uh, see what it's all about. Just for you unbox aficionados, here's the parts number, so this guy would be an XG1150. There are different varieties and versions of this cassette. Uh, this is on the, I'd say in the mid, mid-level tier price, joint, uh, price point, we're about 125 bucks US, 150, 160 Canadian, somewhere in that range. But uh, there's your uh, XG1150 for, uh, for reference. On the box, there's nothing too crazy, just kind of showing some uh, some cranks, derailleur, shifter, that's the grip shift, the cassette, and the trigger shifter and a chain. Uh, nothing too crazy here to see, but uh, just thought I'd share that. So let's go ahead and crack this guy open and check it out. So here's what it looks like uh, on the inside of the box. Uh, nicely settled in, doesn't look like it can really uh, undergo any damage, which is nice. And just like that, out of the box, we have the XG1150 11 speed cassette in all its glory. So some things to know about this guy. Uh, it's actually made of a steel instead of aluminum on the, uh, on the rings itself and it's pinned together. Now SRAM does make this cassette in a uh, full, you know, uh, two piece, I believe, aluminum variety that does save some weight. But when it comes to a longer lasting cassette, from my experience, uh, these steel chain rings, although a little bit heavier, do seem to last a little bit longer, which is exactly what I'm trying to achieve on my gravel bike. So one of the main draws to this cassette, aside from it being steel, is the fact that it has the, uh, or, or what SRAM calls their XD driver. And different than the Shimano Freehub body, or now Shimano Microspline, the XD driver uh, body is, uh, it's a way to get a smaller, uh, small cog on this. So a Shimano would typically be an 11 tooth bottom, whereas this guy is a 10 tooth. Or in even some cases with E13, you can get down to a nine tooth which uh, once again just adds to the extended range ability for running a one by setup. Now if we flip this guy over we can see how this differs from Shimano in that the inside of the body is smooth so there's some weight savings there so the main grip points are on the perimeter rings here and then on the inside you can see it grips the bottom couple chain rings uh, eliminating the middle so the problem that a cassette like this typically is going to have over time is that there might be some creak in the chain rings themselves and uh, require, I'd say, probably a little bit more tension and maintenance on the uh, lock ring itself, which is on the other side of this. The lock ring itself is in fact built into this ca cassette versus uh, some of the Shimano cassettes. So you, there's no caps, nothing that can fall off around here. Uh, you simply slide this onto an XD body, put your tightening bit on top of it and you turn uh, this right here. So nothing to lose which is awesome from the mechanics perspective, super simple and uh, as long as you have that XD driver body on your hub you're all set. So as we can see on the back of the cassette body here SRAM XG1150 1042 tooth 11 speed XD compatible only which is nice to take in now before you put it onto the wheel and we'll likely never see this lettering again. Who's this cassette for? Like I said Anybody who has a 1x11 speed drivetrain, or somebody who perhaps wants to go to a 1x one, one drivetrain, you know, anyone from a gravel rider to a road rider to a commuter that's looking for that 11, a 10 to 42 tooth range, uh, as well as, you know, perhaps, uh, you know, somebody who still rides the trail bike, the enduro bike in that 11 speed uh, type situation that is just looking for a steel replacement part that want something that's going to last a little longer than their, uh, you know, given al aluminum variety of the 11 speed system. So super, super durable setup. I'm really pumped for this 394 grams, which is right in the ballpark of where this needs to be for this price point at 125 bucks US. Uh, take a look at it guys. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. But until next time, thanks for stopping by and we will talk at you later.